it looks a little better right now because this is tax season, so we're getting an influx of tax dollars. Mm -hmm. So it, it has given us more money to pay down, down bills. Uh, so what was at 8.5 billion is now at about 5.8 billion. But I don't want the legislature or the governor or anybody to get too excited that there's money afoot here because uh, it's gonna be gone by August. By August, it will be back up to around 8.5, pushing nine. And so as a result, it's not like there's a money pile sitting around here. As fast as it comes in, we pay bills with it. So it's not just sitting around waiting to, uh, to be used and spent. So if, if they want to appropriate in, in different directions uh, that, that uh, kick up the money a little bit, that's fine. They shouldn't under-appropriate, under -appropriate, but they have to understand we will not have the money to back up any type of, of, of holes they're trying to fill or new programs that they may wanting to float or whatever. That money's already gone. It is spent on contact for all intents and purposes. So, so if we're eight and a half billion in the hole later this summer. Yeah, around August, yeah. What do, what do they need to do to, to cut that debt, to, to get pay back those, uh, to that backlog of bills that you have sitting in your office? Well, they have to continue to cut uh, programs which are no longer functional or can be merged or uh, no longer useful and things of that sort. Not the meat axe. I really hate it when they get lazy and they start using meat axes to, to just chop up the budget because they throw out good stuff with bad stuff. You really have to go through it, see what you don't need anymore, get rid of it, so on. I mean, I always go back to the first and easiest one is, is merge uh, the Office of Treasurer and Controller. That'll save you $12 million. Throw in the uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor's job which is another non-functioning, what is it? You don't need it to survive. That's another three million. I mean, when you do it that way, you'll start adding it up and you won't affect people at all. They're, they're, they're not even gonna be aware of it. It's just gone, you've not hurt anybody. So you've gotta keep doing that. Then you, you can't start new programs when you can't pay for old programs. Now, I fail to understand why that's not understandable. You, you can't pay for things with money you don't have. So don't spend what you don't have. Every person I know who has a family or a, a household understands that. I don't know why the legislature can't get it. So that's kind of where we're at. And with some of the bills that are out there, you know, it could gin up some money. I mean, we could have some more uh, if the gaming bill comes up and, and that'll expect, you know, we'll get some more casino money. Though I would argue that one will cannibalize the other so that there's a finite pie of gamblers out there and they'll only go so far. So you got that going. Um, you know, it, it, there are ways that we, we can conceivably make some money. Uh, the economy's picking up a little bit, but it's very slow, so things could get better. Housing market's bubbling, people are you know, buying houses now, the inventory's low. Um, th there's, there's things that are going on that will make Illinois better, but they can't keep spending money that they don't have. 